What's up? It's me, Jackie, and welcome back to this week's video. So, for this week's video, a very exciting one for you guys. I'm actually gonna be doing an iPhone 12 unboxing here. I'm super excited to bring you guys this video today and unbox this beautiful baby here. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so stoked. I bought this online over the weekend and I just received it in the mail today. Today is currently Tuesday, November 24th, and I received this baby here. This is the iPhone 12 in mint or green, I guess, and I got it at 64 gigabytes because that is honestly the amount of gigabytes I have in my phone right now Which is actually the iPhone 8 plus here I've also had my old phone for the last like two years I want to say now and honestly 64 gigabytes works perfect for me because I don't really like to keep too much on my phone Besides the necessities and when it comes to if I have too many photos on my camera roll or something I often put it into third-party apps, you know, so Definitely 64 gigs is enough for me. I also purchased this with my own money, so no need to brag or anything. I'm not spoiled in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I'm 18 at this point, so I pretty much buy anything that I really need or want. Without any more rambling, let's just go ahead and jump right into this unboxing. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the exterior of the phone box before we actually dive into what it looks like on the inside, which I'm super excited to see. So this is what the front of it looks like with obviously the plastic wrap and then the top has the Apple logo and then the sides have iPhone. This is like pretty generic when it comes to all boxes. I feel like I've just seen it like on my MacBook Pro or like my iPad, you know? Okay, so now let's take off the plastic sleeve, which is going to be the most satisfying part, I guess, of this phone unboxing. Here we've got the little tabby thing and let's just undo it. Okay, let's open it. I'm, I'm so like nervous to see it. It's just like the color that I went for isn't one that I feel like everyone would have, you know, because I feel like everyone would go maybe for like the black one or the white one. Because I asked people around me like what color they think suits me and they said the green. I was like, you know what? We're going to go for the green anyways. We've got this. Let's go ahead and take it off now. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm so happy it wasn't like a super dark green because definitely in some lightings this looks white, but this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's a really like light green color. So super happy with it. So now let's lift it out from the box. Oh my goodness. It's like not that small, which is nice. So love that because I'm definitely used to having like a bigger phone at this point. So really love the size. Okay, I'm gonna set it down for a second. We're gonna dive into what's actually in the box. So in the interior of the box, we've got first the charger here. Obviously this doesn't come with the cube, which is really annoying because it's like, why are we paying the same price for something without it coming with all the necessary things, you know? So. I got just the cord here, which is just the lightning to USB-C, which is nice because it's actually gonna fit into the USB-C ports in my laptop without needing an adapter. So love that. And then we've got the little booklet right here, which is the last thing inside the box. And then in here, it actually has this SIM card ejector first, which is really nice. And then we've got just obviously the booklet that no one really cares about. And then the Apple logo sticker. Now that we've got all the stuff in the box out of the way, let's go ahead and actually dive into turning this video Baby on but before that we have to take off this front little paper cardstock and then we can go into it oh that's nice it's like a sticker wow it's so pretty oh my goodness okay super happy with it like look at that no home button anymore which is something that i feel like i'm gonna need a little bit of time to get used to because on the iphone 8 plus i had the home button okay so before i turn it on i'm just gonna give a little overview what the phone looks like this is the back and then the boxy sides and then the front of the phone so let's turn this on Oh my goodness, okay, it's turning on. Oh my god, okay, hello. This is my favorite part about setting up Apple devices, like just the fresh start to it. Okay, so we've got hello, and then let's swipe up. Okay, now it comes to actually setting up the phone, but at first glance, I just love the size of the screen. Definitely really comparable to the size of the screen on my current iPhone, which is nice because I'm used to having a bigger like screen to look on, you know? So. Yes, yeah, so now let's actually dive into the setting up process. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so of course for the language, we're gonna go ahead and go with English and select the country. Okay, and then I know with most devices you can do a quick start with it, but I honestly love to start my phones manually and from scratch. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So we're gonna click the button that says set up manually. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in my Wi-Fi. Okay, so then right after that, it's gonna go ahead and ask to confirm my phone number and I'm just gonna do that. Obviously not showing you guys. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna set up face ID. I've never actually done this before. I've always just used to like doing it with my finger or something. So let's set this up. Yay! Okay, and I'm gonna do light because I love my phone just being white and bright, you know? And then we're gonna do standard. Welcome to iPhone! Now we're gonna swipe it. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, this is the thing though about having a new phone is that I have to go ahead and do like the whole iOS 14 like aesthetic process over again, which sucks. But you know, it's fine, it's worth it. So this is basically just what obviously the default home screen looks like. Definitely gonna have to go through these apps and see what I want and I don't want. And then later my phone case, like screen protector and everything is gonna arrive, which is great because I seriously don't trust myself hauling this phone around without a phone case. So yeah, so anywho, we pretty much have the phone unboxed and ready to use and I will definitely be personalizing it with all of the things I wanna do to it. So what's on my iPhone would definitely be coming in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And before I actually end off this video, I wanna give you guys a little size comparison to different little phones I have here so the first one I actually just want to compare it to real quick is my old iPhone 5s I think it is this is the last I think generation of iPhones that they came out with before they started doing the rounded edges so this is basically what that looks like okay so this is sort of like the home button of the iPhone 12 part the bottom pretty similar but obviously the iPhone 5s has the headphone jack and this is the side where it has the volume buttons and such. And then this is the top. Very different, of course, because we've got the power button on the side on the newer phones. So that's basically the difference between these. But once again, they do have the boxy sides. And this is what it is in size comparison. Definitely the 12 is a lot bigger, which is nice because I seriously couldn't see myself going back to a tiny phone. So that's that one. And then I want to compare it to sort of like the phone I've been using for the last two years, which is my 8 Plus. This is sort of the size difference. So definitely a little bit smaller than the other one, but the screen size is around the same. So not gonna be much of a hassle to try and transition through that. And then last one I wanted to compare it to is my boyfriend's iPhone actually. He just got the iPhone 12 Pro Max this weekend. Of course, it's gonna be a bigger size difference because it is a larger screen and phone in general. So yeah, and then this is what it looks like just right on top of it. And then for example, the sides. So yeah, that's basically that. I just wanted to compare them for you guys in case you you may be like on the fence about which one to get. I mean, definitely the iPhone 12 is perfect for me, but if you want something a little bit bigger like this one, I would go for it. Anywho, with the unboxing being over with, that's pretty much gonna be the end of this week's video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. I post every single Friday, and if you wanna see exactly what time I post at, go ahead and click the little bell notification to be notified every time I do. Follow my socials as well, I'm very active on those. Love you all tuning in back, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye cuties!